In this video, we're gonna look at the five best things about Spokane. My name's Phil Wells. I'm a real estate agent that's lived in the area for around three years now. Because I'm not from here and I'm in an industry where I'm expected to be a local expert, I've made a point of getting out and exploring as much of what I can about this area in the time that I've been here. So let's get on with this video. My first favorite thing about Spokane is the access to nature that we have here. At the very heart of the area is Riverfront Park, which is really the crown jewel of the city. In many people's opinion, the city has spent far too much money on Riverfront Park, but it's undeniably an incredible place. It's an intricate network of walking bridges, trails, art sculptures, and great views that make downtown Spokane one of the coolest downtowns pretty much anywhere. And it really demonstrates the fact that nature is at the very heart of Spokane. Spokane has countless lakes nearby that you can get to and from within the day where you can fish and enjoy water sports until your heart's content. We also have the Spokane River running right through Spokane where you can get out and enjoy similar activities as well. Spokane is home to great winter sports in the colder months and tons of hiking and mountain biking in the warmer months. It also helps that Spokane is a genuinely pretty place. So if you're an outdoorsy person, you can find far worse places to live or to visit than Spokane, Washington. It also rains a lot less here than it does on the west side of the state, which means you can actually get out and enjoy the beauty of nature a lot more of the time. My second favorite thing about Spokane are the local businesses. Spokane is essentially a really large town and has an everybody knows everybody vibe to it. In fact, I'm willing to bet there's only one or two degrees of separation between everyone in the city. Because of this, we do have a pretty strong community vibe and we love all things local, which means we love our local businesses and we support them too. Those businesses respond by providing great experiences, services, and products. Relative to its size, Spokane actually has a huge diversity of business. Everything from chocolatiers to shoemakers, distilleries to breweries, bakeries to restaurants. And it's fantastic to see people support local business here rather than just flocking to the chain stores. A great place to see and support these smaller local businesses are the abundance of markets dotted all over the place during the warmer months. For those of you who don't know, I'm originally from the UK and I've lived in around a dozen different cities between the United States and the UK. I've lived in far bigger cities than Spokane, but I've found they often tend to have just the same businesses as everywhere else and don't really have that local business vibe that Spokane has. It's really great to see that Spokane does things just a little bit differently. It also helps that Spokane is a pretty business friendly city. New businesses are popping up all the time. So if you planned on starting a business, Spokane might be a pretty good place for you. Sticking with one aspect of local businesses for a second. It has to be said that the food and drink scene here in Spokane is pretty incredible. And that's my third favorite thing about Spokane. If you happen to be around for restaurant week, I highly recommend you take advantage of this and sample all that Spokane has to offer. Spokane has new bars and restaurants popping up all the time and they all offer something slightly different. There's such a strong demand here for great food, drink and experiences that businesses are renovating long vacant buildings in order to meet the demand and in the process are renovating long forgotten city blocks. My only criticism of the food and drink scene here is that I personally would like to see a little bit more diversity in terms of the food on offer here. Smokehouses and classic American bar food are great, I absolutely love it. But I would love to see some more options in terms of high quality Italian, Indian and Chinese food as well. That is me purely nitpicking, I've really no major complaints about what's on offer here. Next on my list and the fourth best thing about Spokane is the cost of living here. Now I know housing in Spokane is next to impossible to find. But if you zoom out and look at the big picture, you can, in theory at least, buy a median priced home on the national median income. You don't need six figures to get by here in Spokane. Just a note on housing, if you are interested, the median home price here in Spokane, March 2022 is $400,000. A lot of people are moving to Spokane for exactly this reason, the low cost of living here. There's no income tax, which is great, and in terms of energy, food, and healthcare costs, the costs are relatively low here in Spokane compared to the rest of the United States. Because of all this, a lot of people are finding that they can thrive here in Spokane rather than just get by comfortably like they were in more expensive cities. Just another note on housing, builders are building like crazy here in Spokane. There's new development in almost every direction. So I'm fairly confident in time, buyer demand will be met by the supply here in Spokane and prices will begin to level off. The next and final thing that I love about Spokane is that this area is growing. 
I get the real sense that I'm part of something that's growing, that's developing, and that's getting better. I'm always hearing about new businesses that have moved to town, new restaurants that are opening, and new housing developments that have sprung up. I get the sense that right now Spokane is putting itself on the map, and that's a really cool thing to be a part of. Until recently, Spokane had a pretty poor reputation, and it was considered a bit of a depressed city. Now though, it's on the up and up. People are moving here, jobs are coming here, the tax base is rising, and development is happening in every direction. I've said it before and I'll say it again, I believe the decade we're in right now will be a real decade of growth for Spokane. We could just do with one huge company to come and establish a campus here and provide a bunch of good paying jobs. And this area will begin to transition towards more of a primary economy and really put itself on the map. So if you're watching this and you're the CEO of a major company, you have my phone number. So those are my five favorite things about Spokane. Most are pretty tangible things that you can see, but I wanted to include one bonus item that you can't quite put your finger on. This area is pretty isolated and really has its own vibe and culture. While we're in Washington state, we really don't have much to do with our friends over in King County. Spokane is more a part of what people refer to as the Inland Empire, which is the ecosystem that exists between Eastern Washington and North Idaho. I think it's a great place to live and to raise a family. It's not for everyone and that's okay. That's one of the beauties about this country is that it's big enough and diverse enough where everyone can find their own slice of heaven. That's it for this video. Please feel free to check out my other video about the worst things about Spokane so you can get a really good understanding of the area, warts and all. I also publish a monthly Spokane housing market update if you're interested in finding out what's going on there. And if you are looking at buying or selling here in Spokane, I am a real estate agent, so please reach out to me, give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email, and I'd be honored to work with you. Until the next one, my name is Phil Wells, and thank you for watching.